Okay, welcome to another video looking at some example paragraphs uh, for A-level economics, how to build a good solid KAA paragraph followed by an evaluation paragraph. This question refers to the market structure known as monopolistic competition, highly common in many towns and cities. Lots of competing hairdressing salons and laundrettes and dry cleaners and sandwich bars oftentimes in, a, in an intensely urban environment. The question is, assess the extent to which monopolistic competition leads to economic efficiency. So I want to take you through one example of a, of a KAA paragraph and a follow-up follow -up evaluation paragraph to get good marks. Uh, here's the first KAA point. In monopoly competition, we assume that there are many firms, each selling slightly differentiated products, and the barriers to entry are low. So make the examiner clear that you know this is the market structure known as monopoly competition. Then uh, add in an example. An example could be the sandwich shops competing in the city centre. Intense competition, which is a feature of this market structure, between suppliers means that demand is likely to be price elastic, coefficient of elasticity greater than one, which then means that, that's a connective phrase, prices may move closer to marginal cost. Firms are not going to rip consumers off, they have to price quite close to the marginal cost of supply. Therefore, another connective phrase, in contrast to a monopoly, prices for consumers will be lower, and this would be an improvement in allocative efficiency of scarce resources. Good use of connective phrases there. A nice example, clear definition of monopoly competition and a link with elasticity of demand. A solid KAA point. However, and then you leave a couple of lines in your exam, always leave two lines so you can make a very clear separation between KAA and evaluation. However, firms in monopoly competition still have some pricing power because average revenue, the demand curve and marginal revenue curves are downward sloping are selling differentiated products this is especially true for firms with brand loyalty strong brand awareness cons consumer loyalty even if the entry of new firms and products means that normal profits are made in the long run price will remain above marginal cost so allocative efficiency is not achieved there's the evaluation point indeed the saturation of Many differentiated products in monopolistic competitive markets may also lead to a loss of productive efficiency as businesses are in the market are unable to fully exploit the scale economies in the long run. There are so many products in the market that no one firm can really get to grips with the big scale economies. Therefore, there might be a, a higher level of unit cost than we would see, for example, in a more monopolistic market. It is impossible to write a perfect answer in the exam under time conditions. What we're trying to show here is an example of how you can build a KAA point, leave a gap, then build an evaluation point in your answer. Of course, you'll want to supplement with a diagram. Here it is. It's one of the more complex diagrams to draw. You'll have to practice this well and common frequently before the paper comes up. In monopolistic competition, there are no barriers to entry. Therefore, in the long run, the market will be competitive with firms just making normal profit. And that's shown at output Q2 here and price P2. Average revenue in the long run is tangential to the average cost. Normal profits are being made. But you can see here the price P2 is still above the marginal cost of supply. So we don't quite achieve allocative efficiency. Practice writing KAA paragraphs. Practice writing evaluation paragraphs. Practicing is the way to really drive your marks higher as the exam comes into focus.